Another difficult week for rail passengers with both train drivers uh, and also uh, London's underground workers taking to the picket lines over the next few days. Uh, let's get more, should we? Mick Lynch, General Secretary of the RMT Union, is with us. Hello to you, Mr Lynch. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Uh, another difficult week for commuters. What are you saying to them? Well, we, we do sympathise with them and, of course, railway workers don't want to be on strike, but the fact is that these attacks on our members, uh, attacks on their terms and conditions, staffing levels, are continuous and there's no sign at the moment that they're going to stop. We're hoping from this Tory party conference perhaps we'll get some signals that they, they want to do agreements with us, but they've put the London Mayor under pressure to impose cuts and, of course, they're directing the national rail disputes because Mark Harper and through him, the Chancellor and the Prime Minister are in charge of that dispute and they set the negotiating mandate. And at this time, there's no sign that they want to achieve an agreement. They seem to be pouring the pressure on anti more anti-union laws, but more levels of what we believe is corruption and incompetence and belligerence uh, attacked at us. So we feel for those passengers, but it's a sign of what's happening in our society, I think, with consultants and junior doctors and railway workers and others having to take industrial action to get any kind of deal out of the government. Just Jack and Sam. Um, OK, if the strike goes into a third year, 2024, would your demands shift? Well, our demands have been to stop attacking us. Uh, we want to protect our members' terms and conditions. We want to protect their place in the railway pension scheme. We want to defend the service that we run on behalf of the public. We want to keep those, passengers, those staffing numbers up so that people can expect to turn up and go accessible and safe and secure railway. When we've achieved uh, some peace on that, we will examine our pay. You're right, we haven't had a pay rise for four years. We don't want that to go any longer. And the companies are insisting through the government that we must pay for our own pay rises in terms of losing our own members and closing down many services on the railway. So we're not shifting our demands. We want a reasonable pay rise, but we also want to defend our members' terms and conditions and the service that we operate. What should we read into the fact that you couldn't get to Manchester this weekend, you can't get home on Wednesday, it just happens to be Conservative Party conference, it's Labour Party conference next weekend and the trains are running? Well, RMT hasn't been on strike uh, in regard to the Tory conference. We've got a strike this week, which is around station de-staffing, and those de-staffing measures are coming in on their own timetable that's not associated with the Tory conference. So, yeah, I don't think you can read anything into it. The people that are on strike on Saturday and Wednesday on the National Railway are in another union. But we will continue our campaign. We have a mandate that's been given to us by our members. But I am ready to negotiate. I have put forward documentation uh, and proposals to the train operating companies, and I know they share them directly uh, with the Rail Minister Hugh Merriman and the Secretary of State Mark Harper. And it's up to them to respond uh, in, a, in a framework of goodwill so that we can navigate our way through this dispute and get to a period where we've got no strikes on the railway. But at the moment, they're simply not prepared to do that. The way they play up to the right-wing agenda in their own party and in the right-wing media in this country is very regrettable. If they want to have good industrial relations, it means they've got to come to the negotiating table, unshackle those companies that they've got under contract and allow them to negotiate with us to get a settlement to the disputes. Okay.